We bout to play 2K Brutal Sim, step back J Kobe got that clutch, throw it up That's game, I'm going through the lane Russell Westbrook quickness What up, what up It's your boy You don't know Brutal Sim on the scene We kill me with a next Brutal Thoughts, man Alright, my last 2K video The thing that stood out So a lot of people were the shooting Tweaks and the impossible removal of the green bar, man. The reason why I mentioned the removal of the green bar in that video was because the way and the tone LD2K mentioned um, the possible removal. He was like, yo, the community is using the bar as a clutch, right? So basically, I'm translating here. Oh, we're tired of the, com of the complaining from the bar. People, people getting full bars and missing and think they should be hitting. So they're always talking about that bar and we're annoyed at the bar. So possibly if you remove this bar, there'll be nothing for them to come, come and complain. If they miss, they ain't going to get the bar as support to prove that they time it perfectly. Right? Which I think is the wrong approach because there's something about just hitting that green light on that bar that makes you just feel superior compared to the average shooter. I know I get them a lot. There's something, some a level of satisfaction that green bar gives you that cannot be replaced by no bar, right? Or just some saying, okay, good shot. Okay, not a good shot. There's something about that green bar was just genius for people who like to shoot the ball. I cannot just um, complain about it and not give y'all a solution, man. Now, let me tell y'all the first solution is this, right? You could leave the option in the game. So people, just like in this game, if you don't want it, you take it off. If you want it, you leave it on. To tell y'all the honest truth, I really don't use the bar to shoot. I look at my release. I make sure I'm at the top of my jump. It's right before I start to go down, I release the jump shot. And that's how I usually shoot. I do not look at the floor or my feet where the bar is at when I'm shooting the ball, to be quite honest, right? Okay, so that's the first tip to being a great shooter. I just give it to y'all, man, just, just like that. That's, that's how I shoot, right? So I don't use the bar, but once I see that bar light up, I know, yo, that was a great release, man. That's perfect timing, right? That's so it's not about me wanting the bar to use to learn to shoot i really don't need a bar but i want that satisfaction from getting that green light so back to what i was saying man. Right? right the first thing you gotta do is go by the numbers right when it comes to greens or getting that that the consistency do it based on the archetypes the amount of greens you could get or the odds you get in the greens is based on the archetype. So sharpshooters would get a lot more greens than the playmakers on point four because sharpshooter is like 90, let's say a 95 boom booster, 99 or something if someone feel like boosting it, right? And the playmakers on point four has got like 70 down here, maybe 70 something if you got short arms. Now, let's say um, the playmaker point four is going to get like 30% less chance of getting a green. Then the sharpshooter and and vice versa like the lockdown gonna get a 60 so the lockdown is gonna get 10 percent less than the playmaker point for the, the greens so this is how you're going to determine the percentage in terms of accuracy when it comes to shooting the basketball so you ain't gotta worry about that all right that's all that that's all you have to do in terms of shooting the ball all right so no one they're complaining about people shooting high percentages or whatever with that, all right, it will it will match up to the numbers. Then you won't have any complaints because if I'm a 99 or a 95, if I'm open, I should be hitting that jump shot. Now, if I'm a 60 percenter with my lockdown and I'm open, now I miss. I'm like, all right, cool, but I should hit the next one, right? I should be missing like out of 10 shots, and I'm wide open with these 10 shots. I should be hitting up about six of those 10 shots because it says 60 percent right and that's with me getting this good release right so that's how you look at the shooting that's how you should pretty much gauge the shooting man shooting shouldn't be that difficult it shouldn't be rocket science and the next thing i got for y'all 
in terms of improving the shooting is this make all jump shots equal you need to make all jump shots equal in 2k the problem this year and in all other 2k is some jump shots work better than others it's not about timing it's not about personal preference this is why most of the community high school one agent zeros brutal sins you know i got the best jump shot in the community man. stop you know use these because the others just don't get consistent greens because my jump shot was just crazy with these green lights man it's crazy i'm getting greens with all that, all the archetypes i equipped my lockdown was getting crazy greens my point four just go crazy with these greens just because i figured out some good enough jump shots and it wasn't about timing now when i equipped something like 22 which is a jump shot I used to use a lot in 2K16. I love that jump shot. Perfect up and down. I could time the release. I'm getting full white bars. But no matter how close I get with these white bars, no green light. So there clearly was an inconsistency across the jump shots, man. All right. Now, I was forced to use some ugly-ass jump shots I created. I really believe all the jump shots I created was ugly. Because usually I like a really quick up and down like the 20 or the Aldridge. And with a straight release with a high arc. That's my jump shot, right? But with my customs, you got a little tweak here, a little tweak there. It, it's just off balance, man. But I had to use it because of the consistent, the consistency. Not based off of if I personally prefer how it looks, which is why, which is how people should be selecting jump shots, right? Because they shouldn't be a uh, uh, inconsistency across jump shots, man, but it does exist, right? So you all need to balance that out as well. If you all want to have people um, really improve the shooting system in this game, man. So that's my tips, man. That's my advice. Um, let me know what you all think, man. Do you all want the green bar? And I understand if you don't, man. If you don't, that would tell me already that you're a sim player. That's cool, though. All right. But how about this? How about you just unequip it and whatever people do shouldn't affect what you think? How about that? Right? How are you? Yes, I got a lot of friends that actually don't play with that bar, and that's cool. I play with it because the lights yelling out their green lights. But that might not be everyone, man. So you already know, man. Put your opinion in the comments. Let me know what you all think. It's your boy, I don't know. Brutal Simon the Scene Wicked. I mean, if you're first time to my channel, like the video, share the video, hit your button, subscribe. If it's not your first time, like the video, share the video. You never know who's going to help, man. Your boy Sim, one love, respect.